Hi guys and welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it so very much. Welcome, my name is Aiden. I am so happy that you are here for another Sample Saturday. Uh, I don't have a, a lot. I just have a few that I used and most of them are gonna be a little, they're fine, but they're not something I would run out. These first ones I can't even run out and get. This is from Quali Country Inn and Sweets. I don't even know like who stayed at Country Inn, but um, this was in a cupboard in one of my, somewhere, and I pulled them out and I used them. They were fine. I, I didn't love them. I didn't hate them. They did their jobs and that's all I could ask for. The next one I have, I mean, I talk about Moisture Surge quite a bit on this channel. It is my favorite moisturizer, but I feel like my skin has been drier this year than normal. So I started to use this and I didn't use, I haven't used very much of it at all because I just feel like it wasn't giving me enough moisture. And part of that could be the foundation I was using. Part of it could be like the primer, although I had a hydrating primer. So I don't know. I just, I kind of, I used it for a little bit. And then I went to a more moisturizing moisturizer. So I think I'm going to try to incorporate this in a little bit more here and there. But, oh man, I hope that I'm not outgrowing Moisture Surge because I love it. I, I just, I love gel moisturizers. All right, next up, Itty Bitty. This is like the world's tiniest concealer of Shape Tape. Shape Tape concealer. This is in the shade 12N Fair Neutral. It's fine. I like this as a concealer, like I think it does a good job. It actually gives some good coverage, unlike some other concealers that I've had this past year or two. And I do like it. I just, I don't really love this packaging because it's not very easy to get in and out. Um, yeah, it's, it's a little difficult because you can't really scrape around and that's what the doe foot looks like. It is so teeny tiny. Yeah very small next up we have from skin SkinCeuticals this one I was sent uh, either from Facebook or Instagram as I'm scrolling I occasionally see like ads that are like get a sample and I always like click on get a sample so that's where I got this one I have several of these coming in the mail from different companies and this is the triple lipid restore 242 correct uh, it was just a moisturizer and it was fine. I did cut it out open so that I could use every bit of it, but you can't really use every bit of it the way that the bottom is. I can't really show you on camera. Like I, it's, it's too small, but they do some weird things so that I feel like there's still stuff in there. But even with a Q-tip, I can't get it out. I think it was fine. I think this is a really expensive brand and I don't know if I personally need something this moisturizing for everyday use or it would be very occasionally and I don't think I want to you know invest in something that expensive because I won't be using it on a regular basis so who knows this I used uh, like at night and I felt better my skin felt better the next day but I did yeah I need something in oh my goodness I need something in between these two because this one was just a little too light for daytime and this one's just a little heavy for the evening. All right, final sample is from Philosophy. This is the Purity Made Simple Pore Extractor. Masktober is finally over. I was used a different mask every single day. So if you've not, uh, I don't think my empties, I know my empties haven't come up yet. I think they're going up on Monday, this Monday or the next Monday. So make sure you watch them if you haven't, um, if you don't normally watch my empties because I do have a mask recap of every mask that I used up in the month of October. So this is an exfoliating clay mask and I really like this. This is one that even though I have a full size of this that I purchased, I do keep the samples because I can get two or three uses out of these and this is kind of expensive but it also just works really well. It's going to be a slightly harsher uh, exfoliator and clay mask it's not as bad as like uh the origins mud mask that one just really dries me out this is somewhere in between like this is more akin to the peter thomas roth mud mask i believe and it's a little bit more exfoliating than that one but i would compare them as more similar than like the origins or the glam glow i don't like those masks because they are too uh, harsh for me so that is it for my samples not a whole bunch 
I mean, I don't usually have a whole bunch of them, but I'm trying to slowly work my way through as many samples as possible, get things out of my collection, and coming up, I have a giant Ulta gift with purchase, and it's a video in itself, and you're gonna see all of the samples that I'm bringing in, and you're gonna go, you're crazy. And I might be a little crazy, but I'm very excited about them as well. Let me know how you are doing. I hope you are all doing very well. I can't wait to talk to you guys next time. Bye.